Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. So it is currently, let's see what time is it? It's currently 8.30 in the morning and I just woke up, got dressed and showered. I haven't worn this like leopard print shirt in like over a year probably, but I was feeling something different. So I put it on and I'm really liking it. So I just made some breakfast. This is an almond croissant from Trader Joe's. I've literally never had this before. And everyone says it's really good, so I'm gonna try this with you guys. It smells really good, I put it in the oven. Wow, the inside is like really moist and sweet. It's really good. I let it set out for like nine hours overnight, and that's how you make these, and it fucks. It's like really sweet. You guys, I'm literally so bored. Like, it's 8.30 in the morning. Yesterday, it rained all day. They're giving rain all day for today. And they're giving rain for the next two days. Like, literally four days of, like, non-stop rain here. And I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, I sat inside and played video games yesterday for, like, most of the day. I got some work done, but I just don't want to sit inside and play video games. Like, I literally feel like a big, fat fucking loser doing that. And I don't want to fucking do that. So, I'm going to try to figure out something. <laughs> So I'm gonna Google like things to do in Kentucky on a rainy day and see what it gives me because like literally I don't know what to fucking do. <laughs> oh my god. The first thing I fucking see on this Reddit said on this Reddit thread said sit inside and watch porn. Alright you guys, I am leaving the house now. It's a few hours later. I have literally sat and pondered on buying a rug like all fucking day like i've sat and thought about this fucking rug <laughs> that is at the mall and my living room it needs a rug like very fucking badly and i think i'm gonna go buy it i think it'll cover the floor and just make the whole apartment look a whole lot better so i'm gonna do a little splurge and i'm excited i'm so excited i've been wanting a rug for a long time so i'm gonna go get that and it's still raining. It's been like the gloomiest fucking day ever. Um, so I decided for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make some soup. So I'm also gonna go to the grocery store and get a bunch of shit to make like a homemade tomato soup and grilled cheese. I think it'll be very nice and cozy. Okay guys, I think this is the rug that I'm gonna get. It's on sale for 200, which isn't bad. And I think it's gonna look really good in the living room. Alright you guys, I just left the store. I got the rug. This bitch is big and I can't wait to see how our living room looks after this. So this is how the rug turned out in the living room. I think it made it look a whole lot better in here and way more cozier. So I'm really happy with it. It's very soft. It looks nice. Just got back home from the grocery store and I have successfully spent about $50 to make a tomato soup that I could have gotten a can for $2. But this is really good because I made this recipe last fall and it was so delicious. So I figured it would be perfect since it is a rainy day to splurge and have a nice little homemade tomato soup. Alrighty, you guys, dinner is ready. Look at this shit. I put some little goldfish on top that are colorful and some pesto and some more heavy whipping cream. And you already know, I had to get a grilled cheese for this. So I'm gonna go ahead. I, I actually already tried it in the blender to test it. And it tastes really good. It's fucking amazing. It honestly doesn't even need hot sauce because I was about to put some on. But I put so many spices in this that it's really spicy on its own. It's really flavorful. And you can really taste all the vegetables too. But not in a bad way. It's like in a really 
really tasty way. It's the next day, and I slept so good last night. The soup we cooked was amazing, and last night we declared that we were gonna call it far soup, because when we were cooking it, Christian kept getting whiffs of farts, and he was like, did you fart? And I was like, I didn't fart. And he made me smell it, and he was like, it's the soup. So I smelled it, and it did kind of smell like a fucking fart, like a healthy bitch fart, you know what I mean? And... I had two bowls of it last night and two grilled cheese. Like, it was that good. It tasted amazing. Like, you wouldn't think, because it was just like roasted vegetables, but it was so good. I highly recommend you guys try that. And it's so ironic because we were just making fun of the smell that it smelled like farts last night. But I swear, all morning, this morning, I have been farting. Like, I, constant toots since the time I woke up. I literally woke up at six this morning. So I went ahead and showered did some laundry, did some dishes, got my chores out of the way because I literally cannot function if I don't do all of those things in that order first thing in the morning. So now I'm having my nice coffee, my morning blunt, and I'm chilling. You want some belly rubs? You guys, our cat Tumble loves belly rubs. and I've never seen a cat love them as much as he does. He's so sweet. <laughs> I love Trader Joe's so much. And I think the reason that I keep driving like an hour and a half to get fucking groceries here is because for one, in my town, like I live in a small town and like everyone knows everyone. And I cannot fucking grocery shop in peace there because I'm constantly looking over my shoulder to see if I'm gonna see someone that I know. Because if you run into someone you know, there goes like 10, 20 minutes of your life having to catch up with them and be personable. And bitch, I'm always on the lookout because if I see someone I know, I basically do a fucking barrel roll into a different lobby or like a different aisle so I can like avoid it. Cause like, I don't, I don't know what to do that, fuck. You know what I mean? Like shit, I'm trying to grocery shop and like zone out and like chill, not catch up. No, um, so I can do this here. But it is funny because like the workers, like there's this like worker in Trader, this Trader Joe's. He was like, yo, it's the dude with the cool cardigan. <laughs> like they know me because of my cardigans that I always wear in here, which is so funny. Let's go back home. It is, I believe it's around 8.39. It's, it's dark out. Um, we got back pretty damn late, honestly. Today was supposed to be like a quick trip um, just to get some like essential things. I got a fuck ton of this garlic naan because I'm obsessed with it. Some peanut butter cookies, my favorite coffee in the world. I literally am obsessed with this. It's so good. Um, just some snacks. You know I had to get butter chicken, had to get mac and cheese bites and some chicken. But here's what I'm really excited about, bitch. So I went in Walmart after Trader Joe's because I was wanting to look at their peel and stick wallpaper. And I found this and I got three of them because let me show you guys where I'm going to put this. So I'm thinking in the living room, I'm going to do this entire um, back wall here as an accent wall with that wallpaper. And I measured it and it will like all fit there. So tomorrow I'm gonna wake up early and go fucking crazy on this wall and make it look better. Because when I moved in here, um, the fucking place was already painted this like gross yellow color and it really bothers the fuck out of me. Um, and I asked my landlord to paint it and he wouldn't let me. So I'm like, fuck, I gotta do something. So I'm gonna try out this wallpaper and if I like it, I might do more throughout the apartment. I don't really know. But tomorrow we're gonna see how this turns out. All right, y'all. It's time to, pre to begin my wallpaper project. I've never put wallpaper up in my life, but this is the peel and stick kind, so it might be easy. All the reviews said this was really easy and it looked really good, so I'm hopeful. I'm gonna take all this shit off the wall, put this up, and then put it back on the wall. Um, and I think it's gonna make my like living room look so much better. <laughs> Today is March motherfucking 3rd. Yeah, it's March 3rd. Um, I can't believe it's March, first of all. I feel like this year is just, I feel like it was just December of last year. It's just like insane. Anyways, today we're out running some errands. 
Are you finished with those errands? Um, and I decided that it would be fun to vlog with you guys today. I was like, it's a beautiful day. I'm looking good. And um, I just wanna chill with you guys today while I do have, have a fun day. Um, so we just went to the alcohol store and I bought some Onda because it's like the, my favorite alcohol. And when we were in the parking lot, I swear to you guys, this fucking pencil neck Zan mom ass bitch might as well ran over my fucking toes. Like we were walking to go in and she whipped in right fucking in front of us. Like my toes were probably this far from the tire. Also stopped at Dutch Bros earlier. I got a caramelizer. This is so good. There's just the cig and coffee combo every day. Like makes me so happy. Okay guys, we're in the mall and I just got some stuff at Bath and Body Works and Sephora. I'll show you guys what I got, but we're in, what the fuck is this place? We're in Pottery Barn. Everything's like mad expensive, but we like to come in here and look. Oh, I like these. These like pink drink glasses and plates. How much are those? 12 bucks each. Oh, that's not bad. Okay guys, do you guys see this fucking red dot? I'm having to get new glasses. I recently just got an eye exam. Um, but I'm gonna buy new glasses here soon because these keep doing this to me. Only on that side, it's so fucking annoying. Um, so I'm gonna be getting rid of these here soon, but we just left the mall. In the mall, I got some things at Sephora and Bath and Body Works. I don't ever really shop at Sephora, but a few years ago, like three years ago, I went there and I bought this face sunscreen stuff and this moisturizer. This is both by First Aid Beauty. And I used this stuff religiously for like a year and I swear it actually helped my face. And I wanna start wearing more sunscreen because I recently saw a picture of these twins and one of the twins wore sunscreen and moisturizer every single day. They were like in their late forties probably. And the other one didn't. And the one who didn't like wear sunscreen and like moisturizer looked like a fucking dried up prune bitch. And like, I don't want to get like wrinkly and like shit like that when I get older because I do smoke and I do like kind of have unhealthy habits so if I can take care of my skin in any way I'm going to anyways I would wear these every single day and I swear to god they made me like look so nice and like dewy and shit so I'm gonna start wearing this again especially because summer's coming up and I used to do this every fucking day and then I quit um because I stopped caring about my life at one point but now I'm back bitch and I'm here for a long time and a good time and a cute time, so I'm not trying to get fucking ugly. Next up, I went to Bath and Body Works and I got two candles. They were doing the sale to where it was like $10 off the candles if you buy them. And I recently was like, I, I cleaned my house recently. And typically whenever I clean my house, I like to light candles because it like signifies that it's done. Like this is the cherry on top. And I was like, damn, I really miss lighting candles. So I went in and I bought this. It's ma mahogany teak wood, it literally smells like Abercrombie and Fitch from like 2008. <laughs> it smells so good. So I got that. And then I got this one. It's a new scent that I had never seen before. It's called Paris Cafe. And it smells like, it smells like a coffee shop and like croissants and like really sweet. So I might put this one in my kitchen and then like this one in the living room. And I think these scents will like blend well together. We were gonna get Cheesecake Factory. Like I was heavily debating on it because mac and cheese balls, and like Jack and Coke and like a salad sounds so good right now. But we're being good boys and we're going to Kava. I have recently been obsessed with Kava. It's like literally Chipotle's healthier, better brother. Shit's gas. I'm pretty sure these fucking white hoes were just like laughing at me for vlogging. They can die. Hi, um, good, how are you? Could I do the um, Harissa avocado bowl to go? Okay guys, we secured the kava. If you've not had this, I'm putting you on hella because this is so good. I made Christian get the bowl that I get every time. It's called the Harissa avocado and it has like this chicken in it that's like chipotle flavored. And there's like cheese, avocado, there's like hummus, feta, rice, like cucumber. Bro, it's so good. Um, so you have to let me know what you think because I get this every time and this is his first time getting it. Oh, it's good. Is it? Yeah, I love it. Isn't the chicken good? It's like spicy. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my god. They also put these like pickled onions in it. I don't really like onions typically, but these are amazing. I love pickled onions. Me too. It makes it so good and sweet. You guys, it's literally been like so many hours since I've updated you. Once I got home, I had some editing to do and some like promotional shit that I had to take care of that just finally got done and posted on my Bentley Blaze. It was actually a giveaway reel that I had to like edit and like put together and it turned out really good. So I do a lot of giveaways on my Bentley Blaze Instagram. It's pretty late now. It's like eight o'clock. And um, also look how good the wallpaper in this room like makes the room look. It looks so much better. I hate this like eggshell yellow color that we're stuck with. And I think that's a good get around to it. I don't know. I might paint this whole room too. Anywho, I have had three of these. These are the Ondas that I bought at the wine store that I was talking about earlier. And so uh, they're like 4.5% alcohol, nothing crazy, but I, I am a little bit of a white, lightweight, white late. <laughs> um, but this is good. Also just wrote myself a blunt. Perfect way to end the night, honestly. We're about to hop on Fortnite, as you can see back there. Christian's on the couch. I'm on my computer set up, and uh, we're gonna hopefully kick some ass, get a dub, and then make some, have a little late night dinner snack, maybe? I don't know. Um, I'm sorry if today was boring, you guys. It was literally just like errands, shopping, come home, get some shit done, and now I'm chilling, you know, and relaxing. But, that's how it be sometime. So I'm in my car now. It's like 11 o'clock. I just went and got some coffee at a local like coffee shop place that I usually go to. Um, anyways, I am going to take care of a few things now. I have to go to the bank and pay my rent. I have to, I need to go to Walmart and get a few things. And there's a few, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the car wash and clean the fuck out of my car um, and get it all nice. So just taking care of some shit today. I also need to get my oil changed. There's just always some bullshit you have to do but I like I love doing errands like this is life for me I live for it so like errands and coffee bitch like <laughs> not even joking I, I got three bags of things the picture frames and then cat litter and water this shit was $100. <laughs> Every time I go in Walmart, I just expect to spend $100. Because, like, honestly, even if it's, like, a little bitty things, like, essentials, it always fucking ends up being, like, $100 or more. All right, you guys. Now that I've successfully burnt $100 for the day, um, I'm going to go to the car wash really quick. And then I'm going to go home. And then I'm not going to leave again. Because I'm always, like, I'm going to save money. I'm not going to buy anything. And then, like, I, I swear it's just, like... If I can get through a day without spending $100, <laughs> shocks me. It's like, I don't, I don't want to like spend money. Like I wouldn't say that I'm like bad with money. It's just shit, you know, like being alive is expensive and you got to buy shit. You know what I mean? Like, but <laughs> I just, I don't like sitting around and like not doing anything because I like to get shit done and like, you know, decorate my house or like do this or do that or clean my car. It's just, I'm not really someone who can just like sit around and like not do shit. And doing shit requires spending money. So it's like, it's not, it's like hard for me to like set and save. Um, <laughs> a lot of you guys ask me how I even make money because it does look like I just like have unlimited money and do whatever I want. And it's like, I definitely still budget like everything I do in like my life. Like there is not a day that goes by that I don't think about money. In fact, have you guys seen that podcast that Emma Chamberlain went on? And she was like, yeah, I've not checked my bank account in like two to three years. Like, bitch, like, how do you, how do you do that? Like, I check my bank account, like, five, six, seven, maybe ten times a day. Like, I'm always analyzing that shit, like, budgeting, like, planning, like, how I'm going to spend this money, like, how I'm going to save it. Like, I'm always, like, looking and thinking about it. And it's just crazy to me that she doesn't look at her bank account. Like, I feel like even if I was that famous and, like, I did have that much money, I would still look at it. You know what I mean? Like, I would still be on that shit, even if I had, like, millions of dollars. Um, I just cannot imagine not, you know, like spending my money. And for me, like, um, I do OnlyFans, I do the YouTube, like AdSense, I do sponsorships on my other channel. 
um, and I do like affiliate marketing. That's something that I've started doing in the last six months and it's actually been really, like really successful. Um, I was actually one of the like number one affiliate market market people for like one of the like campaigns that I did. Like I was number one in like all of the partners and I did really well on that. And it's like, I'm actually pretty good at it. So affiliate marketing is like a really good, easy way to make money like online if you have like a following and you can like monetize it right um so i do all of those things and i'm actually working on a merch drop at the moment as well so i'm going to come out and do a merch drop for summer um and i'm really excited about that so yeah money is just it's something <laughs> I feel like my whole life I've just like been like money focused. Do you know what I mean? And it's like I could never imagine like going into a career that didn't involve like good money. Like I, I just like nice shit. You know what I mean? And I like to be independent. I like to take care of myself. I don't like depending on anyone else. I'm the type of person who would just rather do it all myself and like get shit done because it's like if other people buy things for you that means like they have like a say over you do you know what i mean i don't like feeling like someone can like hold something over my head or like control me with something because like i do not do well with that shit like i i don't like being told what to do i don't like any of that like i'm a very independent like person and it's just how i am so i'd rather just do everything myself you know what i mean it like feels better too when you like accomplish something for yourself um I don't know. You guys know I cannot stand. I literally used to, I feel like I used to really be bad to like sit around and feel bad for myself and just like be sad and like be depressed. But like lately, especially in the past year, I have like turned my thinking around and my fucking like life around. And I just like, look, I look forward to like literally every day. And I feel like it's so easy to get caught up in like a mindset where you feel bad for yourself. And it's like a victim like mindset. And that is just so not good. I feel like a lot of people set in like these victim mindsets and I've like met people like this um, who feel comfort in like that mindset because it's like easier to sit around and mope around and feel sorry for yourself than to like get out of that situation and like fix it. You know what I mean? Um, and it's just, you feel so much better about yourself when you get out of that. And it's like, I guess it depends on like the factors in your life, obviously, because everyone's life is different and there's like shitty things that happen to people, do you know what I mean? But I feel like for me, I was like alone and I, I was just so sad that I was like alone all the time. And I would like always say, like I would give up everything I have for like a good relationship. And I have that now. And it's like, sometimes I feel like I almost like manifested that happening, but I'm still, you know, keeping the things that I care about, like my YouTube channel and like my career, and just everything, I, I've kept it all together, I feel like, throughout the bumps and like rough patches. And it's gotten me to like a really good place in my life once you like overcome the little bumps. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but. I just literally spent the past hour cleaning my car again. I know I was doing it earlier, but like I went in, like I, I cleaned every fucking crevice and surface in this bitch. And on the outside, like I was wiping parts of this car that like I've never even fucking touched. Like it felt wrong even touching some of these fucking car parts. Because like literally I was like in the ass of my car, like under the wheel on the back, like rubbing the dirt from under it. It was like crazy. And I feel so good that my car is clean now. Like I feel like a new bitch. Like I'm looking at all these other cars who are like dirty on the road and I'm like, <laughs> You live like that bitch even though like 90 percent of the time like i have a nasty ass car it's like got me acting different you know what i mean so like here we are i feel great i am also gonna have a cigarette now because it's what i deserve after all of this fucking cleaning i think since it's like getting warm outside it's like 76 degrees today and like spring is upon us i'm just like in the mood to clean like i have like candles lit all in my house right now i clean the fuck out of my house today shit is just immaculate and i feel so much better about my life and myself now that I have everything clean. I remember growing up, my dad was like, my dad is like OCD, like obsessive. Like if everything is not perfectly clean, like he will make your life hell. Like I knew to like make my bed every morning. Like if my underwear in my drawer wasn't like perfectly like lined up and stacked perfectly, like I would get screamed at. <laughs> and I'm so glad that he was like that because like, I think it's just like kind of rubbed off on me and it was like already in me. But like as soon, like as I've gotten older, it's like come out of me. And it's like, I see my dad and myself now because I'm literally the same exact way. Like I cannot have a mess. 
That's why I will never have a fucking roommate. I tried a roommate one fucking time, bitch, and I will never have a roommate again because, like, if I can't stand, like, a nasty-ass bitch. I can't stand it. I don't like nasty bitches. I don't like sensitive bitches. I don't like emotional bitches. Like, get the fuck of yourself. Like, I cannot stand a sensitive-ass, offended-ass person. Like, I literally can't. You have to walk around eggshells on, like, around them, and I just can't. Like, especially, like, people... There's just so many fucking woke idiots these days who are like chronically online on TikTok and they just don't even fucking like have their own brain. Like everything they think is like what their stupid fucking friends are telling them and it's so sad like how people are these days. Mm. And I can't handle it. I really can't. Um, something else that I want to talk about. I'm going to have a little car rant to end the day since I'm feeling good. Um... You know how people always talk about like being the bigger person and like walking away from the argument and just being the mature one? I fucking hate that shit. If you do me wrong, bitch, if you say something about me, I will get you back. It might be a year later, it might be two years later, but best believe I will come back for your ass and I will get you because I will never be the bigger person because in my head, the bigger person equals just you being a fucking punching bag and it's a good way to get fucking manipulated and I will not. I cannot with the manipulation shit. Like, people are, like, so manipulative to, like, get their ways. Or, like, whatever they want out of a situation. And it won't fly with me, bitch. Like, I look out for that shit. And if you do me wrong and you shit talk me, I best believe I'm coming back for your ass. And I'm only talking about this because I recently have, like, went through this in my personal life with someone <laughs> that I unfortunately had to meet. And it's just like, bro. Fuck that. Let me know what you guys think about, like, the whole being the bigger person situation. Um, because I think it's horseshit. I will always stand up for myself. I will always defend myself. And I don't give a fuck how old you are or who the fuck you are. No one's going to shit talk me. Like, I will get your ass. So, that's just how I am. But yeah, today's been a great day. I've gotten so much accomplished. And I love that. Like, there is nothing better than just, like, getting shit done throughout the day. And then, like, ending the day chilling. Because you, you feel like you earned it. You know what I mean? That's a great feeling. Um, whew, I just want to run around listening to music now. Like, I've been listening to Kanye's new song, Carnival. Like, literally on repeat. I love Playboy Cardi's part. In fact, Playboy Cardi has been, like, my most streamed artist recently. I love him. I love Yeet. Those are, like, my top two at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I kind of want to... I kind of want to take the top off my G2 and just really fucking suck in the sun and have a good, a good little music drive. 